like a sticker from an old drawing. We'll see. Tracing. Drawing. Tape. Cut. Tape on top. Cut it out. Finished. I'm getting cheeky with a rifle. I'll pull the trigger with my eyes closed. Hoping to hit you somewhere vital. And when I miss you, come and kiss me with a smile. and what they do starting with the liner brush the round brush it's good for like flowers the shader is good for blending shading and the flat brush is good for squares lines with sharp edges the fan brush is good for like trees and then the wash brush you can use it for multiple colors and then the angular brush is good for angles to make paper squishy. Get a plain paper. Fold it into half. Sketch your design. Trace it with pen optional. Erase. Color it. You can use markers too. Tape the front and the back. Cut the edges. Tape the edges except for one side. Now put the stuffings. I use plastic. Tape it after. Done. So my classroom is open for lunchtime and students eat lunch in my classroom and I don't have to let them but they do because it's fun. At the beginning of the year there was a student who comes in to eat lunch and um, they curse all the time and just like curse words up the wazoo left and right and it's lunchtime so I don't really police them. I'm kind of like it's their day to fill with my own money and it's just because like sometimes you're having a bad day and you know you want to eat a snack. Here's my snack bowl. If you're hungry have a snack. I don't want anyone to be hungry and cranky and rude. Just like have a snack. Now there are several kids in the building who just come to my room each day to like have a fruit roll up and say hello and I think that's great. And so I'd been filling it all year um, using my own money and I figured I would use the swear jar money. Long story short, $30 didn't actually get me very far in the snack bowl world and I figured I have this uh, platform here and I should just make an Amazon wish list. So if any of you would like to contribute to my classroom snack bowl and help a high school kid out who's having a bad day or is just feeling kind of snacky, um, you can get to it via the link tree in my bio. Yeah.
Hold the axe out your face and say, That's it, the boogeyman. Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm an artist and a crafty gal. I make things that go eep, things that go splork, and things that go blonk. And if that sounds like something you'd like to see more of, give me a follow and I will probably be making more soon. Awesome. I finished my drawing after nine hours. I can't wait to post this online so everybody can look at it for less than 10 seconds. It's going to be great. Omnibeats.com asks me how I paint my sky so I'm gonna try to show you guys I never use my color directly out of the tube I always blend it with something also make sure you use a retarder so that your paints stay wet longer my process is random but you're gonna get like a big brush like this wet it a little bit and then take out all the water leave it a little damp get your colors start dabbing like colors you're doing see how wet that is that's what you want for your face layer and I'm just going to dab my colors. So you're just going to dab your colors, kind of how I'm doing right here. It should look something like this. Take a fluffy brush, damp it, and then you're just going to... I'll show you. Watch. Blend everything together. It's from dark to light colors, so work your way through. This is your first base. Click on part two to keep watching.
Omnibeats.com